Okay, so this is just a quick off-season video tutorial for Grass GIS 8.2. Uh, and today I'm basically going to show you that uh, there's a long-awaited feature that's now available, and that is single window mode for Grass. And for those of you who have been wanting this, you've been wanting this for a long time, and uh, I think you'll see that this can be kind of cool. Um, so first things first, uh, we need to start Grass and it has to be uh, the latest stable version which is 8.2.1 maybe earlier versions of 8 have this in there but let's just say get the latest one go to grass.osgo.org uh, and do it and this is the, the the way grass has always started up in its uh, typical uh, two window mode we have the the map uh, the layer manager on the left and the map display on on the right here um, you know, you can look at some of my other tutorials for how uh, some of these, uh, you know, control tools work. Uh, but basically, you always had the two windows separately. So if you want to switch to the new uh, single window user mode, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we go to uh, settings over here and to preferences. And what we have to do is to uh, find this uh, workspace settings under general. And it says use single window mode experimental and requires uh, the GUI restart. So what that means is that uh, this will work, but there may be some kinks that they're still working out. And if you've come up against some problems, you can always switch back to the old interface, the two separate window modes, by opening up the settings again and unchecking that box. So we'll hit save, and what we have to do is to at least uh, close the GUI uh, here, but you know, it's just as simple as to quit grass completely and to, to restart it again. And now, when uh, you know this pops up, we are in the uh, new experimental um, single window mode and you should be looking at this and saying to yourself hey this looks kind of familiar it looks a lot like QGIS and I think probably also ArcGIS although I haven't used that in a long long time uh, so basically what we got here is the the same bits and pieces but arranged in this sort of tiled mode here we have our data catalog, which was the first tab in our uh, layer manager window in the previous interface. And the layers are showing up here as well. And we can actually show multiple uh, of those tabs. We can show them over here on the left. Uh, another tab that shows up is the tools uh, tab over here. And we have the console, let me move myself to this side, and the Python interface. Those are all showing up over here now. Now this is the default layout. You can uh, sort of click and drag and resize them to your heart's content. It can be a little laggy from time to time. Uh, you know, again, this is still new and experimental. Uh, and you can completely close that one off to the side and restore it uh, over here. Now, if you like the, the tools menu to find all of your, your stuff, you can keep this open. I think it just sort of takes up extra real estate. Uh, the console can be useful, but I, I don't personally use it because in the background is still, at least on Linux and probably also on a Mac, is the terminal. I'm not 100% sure on Windows if the terminal still shows up, but from what I recall, you could choose to start gra grass with a terminal uh, on the Windows version too. Uh, so I will type any anything I want to type, I'll type into here and run it the old, old, old school way, but that's me because I've been using grass for a long time. You might want to have this window open. Personally, I'm going to close it like that just so I have more room in my uh, map display area. And I also personally want to expand this area on the right hand side so that when I do add uh, layers from my data catalog, uh, let me just add a DEM and uh, let's add some other data. This is just some, you know, random uh, data I picked to, to, to sort of demonstrate uh, from San Pasquale. And basically you can see how all of your, your display uh, 
uh, tools and your layers are over here and now you could quickly add and remove data from the data catalog and it's actually kind of nice to be able to see both of those things at the same time um, when you pop into the 3d view it uh, shows up like so and your 3d uh, tools are going to show up here on the bottom and uh, at this point you might want more space for that so you can minimize one or both of those guys and you can get a little bit more space so you can drag and pull around your 3d viewing tools uh, you know changing all of the stuff that you can see in some of my previous tutorials like so and uh, you can pop out back into the 2d and you're going to want to pull those uh, you know panes back into uh, into view um, there probably is a few more things that you can customize here but uh, I, I've sort of only scratched the surface myself with this I, I think I will be using it in single window mode moving forward even though I'm perfectly happy and used to the dual window mode simply because now I can get my data catalog and my layers uh, visible at the same time which I think is actually an improvement I'm sort of agnostic about having everything in one giant window um, I can see how people like it I personally don't really care that much um, you can now have multiple map displays. They'll show up in tabs across here instead of in separate windows. So I think functionally it, it doesn't really change what you can do. It just changes the way that you interact a little bit and maybe it'll make things a little bit more efficient for you. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Again, this is an off season uh, tip, uh, hot tip for uh, the latest version of grass. And I thought I'd just throw this out there because it'll be a while since I, uh, until I teach my, my GIS course again. And I know there are folks who do kind of look at the YouTube channel and uh, uh, use these tips. So anyway, hope that's helpful and uh, catch you next time.